You want to start? Yeah. How you doing? Ken Pavi here at the first annual Fight Summit, having a good time networking with some key uh, individuals from the industry and meeting some fans and some sponsors. It's a really great opportunity to interact with people that really make the industry go. Uh, <coughs> got a next big fight coming up for us is Phil Baroni. He's fighting on New Year's Eve. We're really excited about that. It's a big fight for Phil. And this is the first time in a while that he's been 100% healthy and on weight way early and just had a great training camp, so we're expecting big things from him. Uh, looking forward to, got a couple fights, big fights in January. Uh, got one of our guys actually fighting, uh, Herschel Walker. Got a main event on Strikeforce Challengers with Devin Cole fighting DC, uh, Daniel Cormier. But, you know, generally we have 15 fights a month or so, so we have a pretty busy month. We're pretty excited about that. And then uh, really excited about the new Bellator announcement. You know, they're on MTV2 now, which is owned by Viacom and, and 90 million homes. So um, got about 15 guys with Bellator. So it's going to be a busy year for us. Uh, excited about that. And uh, see, everybody seems to ask me about the UFC lawsuit. And it's just, you know, unfortunately, American litigation is, is hurry up and wait and hurry up and wait. So kind of a holding pattern. But, you know, as, as more and more facts are coming to light, we're very confident, as we have been from the beginning in our position. And, uh, confident that when the UFC sees everything they need to see that they'll realize it was uh, a lot to do about nothing that was uh, perpetuated by a disgruntled former employee to try to make it something that it wasn't. Unfortunate they had to come to it, but, um, you know, working, working our way through it like, like we do in, like we have to do in, in business sometimes and, and finding, uh, finding other ways to, to make money and, and, and also to how to support our current UFC clients. So, uh, loving life because we're doing passionate about uh, with a great team and look, look forward to going to work every day so I feel very blessed and have a great group of uh, clients and, uh, and that's about it. So join the Fight Summit and if anybody else gets a chance you should come out and check it out next year. Highly, highly recommend it. I do have one question before I let you go. Sure. Uh, is uh, Phil feeling any uh, pressure for his uh, upcoming UFC fight? I, I think Phil puts a lot of pressure on himself. You know, Phil's very his toughest critic is, is himself. You know, he's a perfectionist. Uh, trains really hard, and I think traditionally he's, he, he balloons up, puts on weight before the fights, and he, he has to work twice as hard to get the weight off and to get in shape. Well, this one he started in a good place, so he's been off a year, um, and he's you know, this is a, he said it in the interviews. This could be a fight for for the UFC, his UFC job, um, not for his career, but for his UFC job, which he values quite a bit. And so yeah, I do think there's an extraordinary amount of pressure on him, but I think he's handling it very well. Uh, best way to overcome pressure. Um, and the, alter, the forces that, that hit you in the sport is preparation. You know, luck is when preparation and opportunity present themselves together. And I think that you're going to see a very lucky Phil Baroni on January 1st.